Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we're gonna study addition and subtraction facts with six. Basically fact families where the sum or the total is six. For example, here's one. We have six and zero, two groups, six and zero. And we get these two addition and these two subtraction facts, as you know. And then the other grouping would be five and one. So we get five plus one, one plus five, equals 6, and these two subtractions, 6 minus 5 equals 1, 6 minus 1 equals 5, either subtracting this or these. And now over here, 4 and 2. So I will write the additions 4 plus 2 and 2 plus 4, and both equal 6, right? Can you tell me what the two subtractions are? Start with the total 6. Take away these. 2 leaves 4. Take away these 4 leaves 2. And then one more. This is a smaller fact family because I have the 3 and 3, the same amount in my both groups. So I have 3 plus 3 equals 6. Just one addition and just one subtraction. 6 minus 3 equals 3. Now, I want you to remember all these. I want you to memorize them and learn these additions and subtractions well. And maybe you want to study the table for a little bit, but then it's time for some drill again. And I think I will have Matthew this time to point to these problems and you try to answer as quickly as you can. Try not to look at these answers, okay? All right, here we go. Five plus what number makes six? One. 3 plus what makes 6? 3. 1 plus what makes 6? 5. And then 4 plus what makes 6? 2. 6 minus 2? 4. 6 minus 6? 0. A little bit more, okay? I won't read the problems now. Matthew will just point to them. Alright, good job. Now, draw a line between problems from the same fact family over here. We could first solve these problems. Let's start here. 2 plus what makes 5? That's 3. So, this addition fact comes from a fact family that uses 2 and 3 and 5. So now I can spot where else are problems that use 2 and 3 and 5. Okay? This one, right? And 2 goes here. 2, 3, 5. And then here, 5 minus 2 equals 3. So I just draw a line that way and that way. Okay? Then 6 minus 4 equals 2. Right, so this fact family is using 2 and 4 and 6. So where else are problems that use 2 and 4 and 6? Over here, right? And then this one. And lastly, we just have 1 plus 5 equals 6. And 6, 5, and 1, 5, 1, and 6. Those ones. All done. Larry has $10. He buys two toy cars for $2 each. How much money does he have left now? Think for a moment, do you need to add or subtract in this problem? Larry buys, Larry has $10, Larry buys something. So he, of course, uses up some of his money. He gives the money to the store. So we subtract. We would subtract $10 and then minus. Let's put the dollar sign here. $10 minus how much? You could write four dollars, ten minus four. Or you could write ten minus two dollars, that's for the one car, and then he pays for the other car too, another two dollars. And so how much will he have left? Six dollars. Now, how many more toy cars could he buy? Okay, he has six dollars now. How many toy cars could he buy with this six dollars? 
Each car costs two dollars. One car, two dollars. Two cars would cost four dollars, and three cars would cost six dollars, right? He could buy three more cars. Good job. Well done with this lesson.